My name is Mark Kern, and I'm the CEO of Red5 Studios, and I'm really excited today to talk about the story of Firefall. Well, Firefall takes place on a future Earth, and after the crash of the arc light, there is a horrific chaotic energy storm release called the Melding, which sweeps most of the planet, and everything it touches, it sort of disintegrates. In this environment, humanity is trying to survive. They're trying to gather more of this resource called Christite, which powers everything in the world, and also find a way to repulse the Melding and to force it back uh, so that they can reclaim the Earth. And in the middle of this, we've thrown in an alien humanoid race uh, called the Chosen, which is very mysterious. We don't explain too much about it, but they're attacking human settlements and putting this constant pressure on people. Story is really important to Firefall. We want to experiment with really having you care about the story. And a lot of that really derives from caring about the characters in the story. Some of the key characters in Firefall include Admiral Nostromo. Admiral Nostromo is aboard the Arclight when it crashes, and he makes a key decision which kind of influences how that story unfolds over the course of gameplay. Swept along with that story are other characters, including Dr. Bathsheba, who is a scientist who's very versed in Christide and arc folding. And we also have uh, two characters from our cinematic, I can reveal their names now, Typhon and Morningstar, who have their own story to tell alongside these other characters. And it's really the interplay between these characters that drives the story. I'm out! Cover! So the other thing that you really need to convey a great story is a great writer. We're going to be working with a very strong science fiction writer to help shape the universe of Firefall. And that writer is Orson Scott Card. Hi, this is Orson Scott Card. I'm in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is the end of the known universe. I got involved with uh, the game Firefall because the guys from Red 5 invited me to. Uh, they had read some of my work. They felt like I might be able to make a contribution. And since I think the game is a, a great one, the one that they're developing, the story that they're developing uh, is exciting, I was uh, delighted to be part of it. This is extremely exciting because Orson is a character-driven story guy. I mean, his stories are about sci-fi, but they're more than that. They're about the humanity behind it. They're about people's problems and how they're resolved. And we feel that that really draws you along his stories and we, in the same way that we want you drawn along the Firefall stories. What I found when they started talking to me about the storyline of Firefall, when I looked at the material they'd already developed, is that uh, it's really fascinating to be dealing with essentially a post-apocalyptic, in fact, post-double apocalyptic world in which it's not a bunch of people running around uh, obsessing over water or gasoline or whatever. It's not Mad Max. It's not the world ended. Well, the world did end, but we're maintaining our high technology. We're moving forward with it. We're still civilized human beings. We just happen to have a whole bunch of extremely dangerous monsters coming at us that need shooting. Whenever you create a, a new IP or a new story, it's really important to sort of prep your audience for it. You don't want to like have everyone just go in cold. And so we thought a fun way to introduce the story of Firefall in a really exciting way would be to do a free online manga that we release right on our website for absolutely free. And this is kind of like a Red 5 mantra, isn't it? Is that the game's going to be free? We want the manga to be free too. We want you to follow along this storyline even before the game is released in manga form to prep you for the characters in the world that you're about to play. That's what I'm doing with Firefall, is trying to get deeply inside it and, and uh, understand how everything works. But then we translate it into a manga format uh, so that an artist will be developing it visually using art and, and design from the game. And uh, for that, you actually have to understand how mangas work. Now, I could spend years of my life learning this new form the way I've spent years of my life breaking my heart over trying to learn how to write screenplays. Or I could collaborate with somebody who really understands the form. And that would be my daughter, Emily Janice Card, who is a wonderful writer, one of the best writers I've ever known. Together, uh, we, we develop exactly how things are going to flow, and then she writes the dialogue, the scenes, and of course I vet it and, and make suggestions, but I don't have to make many suggestions. She's really good. And so we have the benefit of working with Orson on the entire backstory of Firefall, you know, how Christite works, where the melding comes from and how it operates, and also working with both him and his daughter Emily Card on this awesome free manga that we're going to release online. 
One of the best things about working on this manga is that Udon Comics is going to be in charge of taking it from our script and turning it into something really exciting visually. Comics fans already know what I'm talking about. Uh, we chose Udon Comics because there's a very distinct style that they have that kind of blends a little bit of Western style with Eastern style. And that was something we were looking really hard to achieve. The style that they've created with you know, Street Fighter comics was very successful in both markets and that was something that we were looking to really accomplish with Firefall. So that was something that we wanted to pull into our own style. I grew up on Street Fighter. I'm a huge fan. Following Udon Comics and being a comic book fan myself, having a chance to actually work with them is definitely you know, a dream come true. And I'm really, really excited about you know, the marriage that we have you know, working with Udon Comics and developing a you know, comic book for Firefall. The art is the first thing you see, so let's make it something that people aren't going to forget. One of the best things about being in this writing business for a long time is that you get opportunities to do things like this that are so out of the box that it just becomes a thrill to work on it. And I'm doing some of my very best work with, uh, with this manga. I think you're going to be really excited by it. I, I look forward to your responses, and heaven knows uh, I'll be listening to see what you think. And this is something that we've poured a lot of you know, time and effort into it. We have all of our hearts you know, put into this project, so it's really exciting. I'm so thrilled to be able to do this with Orson Scott Card and Emily Card, and I'm really looking forward to the manga. Manga is one of the, the, my favorite things to read, and I think it really fits the style of our game, and I can't imagine a more perfect match than all three of those elements together to make Firefall.